If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, 6 ix 9 supposed to be starring in a Snapchat documentary, and he's rejecting witness protection. Wiz Khalifa gets a Snoop Dogg tattoo, and Queen K uploads a crazy video of 600 Breezy to Twitter. Let's talk hip-hop. Alright yo, this is crazy, right? So, of course, of course, right? Everybody wants to see what 6 9 is doing, they want to follow the trial, they want to try to figure out what's going on, um, so of course Snapchat, they're going to jump in the game too, right? And I guess whatever offer they offered 6 9 you know, Snapchat, uh, was a pretty good damn offer because it seems like 6 9 is on board with this, right? So Complex actually is going to be producing a documentary for Snapchat, and I guess you can watch it like right on Snapchat, right? Um, and it's gonna be about 6 9 So the whole thing is that Snapchat is gonna start doing the series of documentaries called Versus the World, right? So um, the first one is gonna be 6 9 Versus the World, but you know, next season it may be Kevin Hart Versus the World or whatever the case may be. I just thought of Kevin Hart off the top of my head. I don't know if Kevin Hart is gonna work with Snapchat or not, right? Um, but the whole thing is that super polarizing the very first one that you come out with is the 6ix9ine one because that's buzzing and that's crazy right um the whole thing is man that they're supposed to be starting this series like pretty much now like within like a couple of weeks or whatever like fall 2019 which is like right now so that's insane in itself right um 6ix9ine said that he expects to be home in january so that's like four or five months from now right um and then you know the da and the fbi and the private prosecutors and everything said, okay, you're approved for um, witness protection. We're offering it to you. They said, at first they said they might help him um, get the tattoos off his face, but then they said that he could pay to remove his own damn tattoos because he got money, right? Um, which all makes sense, but 6 9 rejected witness protection, right? So it seems like to me that he wants to come home hide in plain sight is what he said um and it, look it, it's crazy that we're getting all this information every single day it's like is he in jail like he's just calling in like yeah yo so yeah i'm gonna just hide in plain sight and i'm just for all we know he's hiding in plain sight right now he's not even locked up right so six nine plans on after getting out of jail if he's in jail right now anyway in january and coming out with music and streaming and going on tour overseas still right like all this is crazy he's probably gonna sell this deal to a series, a network, a movie deal, or whatever the case may be, still get his money off of that, and do stuff like Snapchat documentaries and all that stuff, and he's just basically gonna ride this thing till the wheels fall off, but by the time the wheels fall off, uh, he'll have enough money to just chill and invest in different companies, and probably like gas stations and convenience stores and, you know, stock options and stuff like that, so he probably won't have to really like get on the microphone on a stage ever again, which is insane insane, right? Um, and this is the first move towards that, right? He says that he has enough money to uh, afford 24-hour security and that he ain't finna get no tattoos removed and he ain't finna just walk away from this life either, right? So that's insane. I guess we'll have to see what happens when it gets out. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. All right, yo, so uh, y'all know that Wiz Khalifa and Snoop, they've been like besties ever since like Wiz Khalifa came out, right? Um, and I guess like Snoop kind of embraced him with open arms because Snoop been in the game for mad long. And Wiz Khalifa kind of reminds me of a Snoop, right? Not like the Snoop that came in the game, you know, under death row because that Snoop was gangster, right? But he kind of reminds me of a Snoop after he's been in the game for a little while, you know, weed smoking, chilling, like to party, skinny, tall, like they both even kind of look alike right um and the industry does this right so if you're successful with a madonna then they're gonna go find the second madonna lady gaga and bring her in right if you're successful with an elvis they're gonna go find a second elvis like a bruno mars and bring him in right so if you're successful with a snoop dog they're gonna go find another snoop dog which is wiz khalifa and bring him in right and it could have went bad you know uh, snoop could have been like yo who's this you know want to be me or whatever the case may be 
years and years ago when uh, Wiz Khalifa first started, but it seems like they ended up being really cool with each other, right? And I mean, Wiz, uh, Snoop Dogg is a cool ass motherfucker, and so is Wiz Khalifa, so of course, right? Plus, they probably was like, yo, you wanna smoke? And then after that, it was a match made in heaven, right? A bromance, right? So, both of them are cool. Um, both of them uh, have been on tour together. Uh, Wiz Khalifa looks up to Snoop Dogg. They done did movies together. They done did multiple albums together. Not albums, multiple songs together. Uh, they've been hanging out all the time. So, of course, it makes sense that if Wiz Khalifa looks up to Snoop Dogg, that he would get a tattoo of somebody that he thinks is a legend in the game, right? And it's not just him. I mean, like, arguably, Snoop Dogg is probably, like, one of the greatest rappers to ever do it, period, right? Um, so, okay, I I get it right and a lot of people are like yo this is weird this is sus or whatever the case may be i would never get a tattoo of like another man on me but that's just me right like if, if Wiz Khalifa wants to do it i guess that's fine right uh drake has a tattoo of little wayne and you know that's his big homie right um you know, Kevin Gates has a tattoo of NBA Youngboy. That, that is kind of weird. But you, you get my point, right? Like, a lot of people do get tattoos of other, you know, their favorite rapper, whatever the case may be, right? So you see it has, like, the fa uh, the front of the album, Doggy Style, which is, like, one of Snoop's dopest, you know, most classic albums. Then he's got the Chuck Taylors there. Uh, then he's got, like, a, a picture of Snoop Dogg's face, like, maybe from 2008 or something like that. Uh, and then he's got, like, one of the rims it looks like too with like a dog standing next to it so i mean it's a cool tattoo and it looks like he sleeved up like the bottom half of like one of his legs right the only thing is that the picture is in black and white and i don't know why like it's in black and white maybe he did it like that so it could stand out more as far as like i see in the image and all that stuff but um yeah i mean i think it's okay man go on uh with khalifa's instagram and check out the rest of the pictures and let me know what you think about this in the comments where y'all at so that's Queen Key, right? And Queen Key, I don't really know that many songs from her, but I heard like a song from her, like with Saweetie or somebody like that. And that was like pretty recently, right? Um, and then, you know, there's 600 Breezy. Uh, he used to hang out with Drake a lot back in the day, but then he got locked up and went to prison. Um, but now he's out, right? Um, so he's trying to be getting like back into hip hop slowly. Um, but you know, uh, 600 Breezy is from Chirac. He's dope. Um, and he's cool, right? Anyway, so I guess he had a relationship with six with uh, Queen Key, right? And you know they were arguing on Twitter, and then he tells her to get an abortion, right? And it's funny because she then responds to him and says something like, "Oh, if I was pregnant, you would have ate the baby out of me," right? Which is so weird and strange. Like what? Like how is that a diss or, or response or whatever, right? Um, so then she goes on Twitter and puts out a video of him like eating her. House. Out, right and this is crazy so the whole thing about Twitter it's not like Facebook it's not like Instagram where if I put up like nudes on you know Instagram it's gonna get flagged and taken down right but there's no rules on Twitter right so like I could throw a dick pic up on Twitter and it'll just be there until I take it down right you can't report no nudity on Twitter like that's what people do on Twitter right um, so she put it up there, right? Trying to expose him, which is crazy because then 600 Breezy comes out with a video and he's like, yo, how are you trying to expose me for eating you out? I mean, that's what guys do. I was down there doing my thing and you think that you exposing me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? Oh, I'm Breezy though, baby. You know how many bitches want to know? I inspire all the mixtapes. No fuck. I inspired all the mixtapes, don't be this. It's me, I'm him. Yes. Fuck you talking about. Niggas get exposed for sucking dick. You can't get exposed for eating pussy. That's what I'm supposed to do. Don't be me. I, I don't want to. You feel me? I can get personal and put the real business out here. She man, let that hurt go. Let that hurt go, baby. Let that hurt go. That's all it is. 
I feel like since Hunter Breezy handled this like a G, right? He's like, I can expose you, but I'm not, right? Let that hurt go. And he was like, mad smooth about it. And at the end of the day, like for real, like that's what dudes do anyway. So what do you think that you're doing by exposing a guy for eating you out, right? And then she basically uh, comes out with a whole song called Eat Me Out, right? Um, and then she's like dancing around and like she's got a whole video. She got a, a dude with a, a t-shirt that says, I done ate uh, 600 pussies or whatever like that. I mean, it's crazy, right? She in the studio like, eat me out. She got a fake 600 Breezy in the music video of the song, eat me out. So it's funny because it's like, uh, this is where I always think, right? Like, okay, you exposing him, that's one thing. And maybe a week or two weeks later, you done hit the studio, recorded a song, they got the t-shirt, casted a fake 600 Breezy, filmed the video, you know what I'm saying? And put it out, you know what I'm saying? But this all happened within like 24 hours of each other, right? So Queen Key must have been super busy yesterday, <laughs> right? Or this was all planned in the first place, and 600 Breezy was like, oh, I know how we gonna fuck him up. What you gonna do is you gonna go on Twitter, you gonna put up a, pic, a video of me eating your pussy, right? And then we gonna come out with everything the following day, and we gonna do it like that, and you gonna go viral, all the blinds gonna pick it up, right? So it's like, I don't know what to believe, but it seems like she was trying to expose him, but then she comes out with all this material after a song, a fake 600 Breezy, a t-shirt, a whole campaign about Eat Me Out. So it's on World Star right now and everything, but all this happened the day before yesterday so i don't know let me know what y'all think about this and everything in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fast on instagram and y'all already know what to do peace